We're back. The Mad Chat Podcast with yours truly, Paul Ciano, Cousy Frank Ciano, the Red Man, Christopher Joseph Shea. We're back. Guys and gals out there, a great topic matter that we're going to speak about today. And it kind of was influenced by something that was going on here in one of the film, one of the podcast one of the episodes. One of the episodes. And to, to give it the title, today we're going to talk about pet peeves. What is your pet peeve? What happens to you that just drives you crazy, makes you angry, makes you irate, can alter your whole state of mind? Freaking day. Yeah, ruin your, ruin day. your whole ruin, day. Ruin, ruin, it'll ruin your day. So, to start it off, we were, a partic- we were here filming a particular uh, set of episodes one, one day. And um, where we have the, the, the podcast set up, we have a huge room, it's all to ourselves. Um, glass doors, glass it's doors, clear to see, it's what's, clear going to see on. what's going on. Don't come in, don't do this and do that. But listen, I don't mind if you're going to come in and out and be quiet and, you know, you mind your business and you know what's going on here. Well, you see lights, you see right. cameras, like, yes. what yes. are you thinking? I mean, what are you, I'm going to punch the bag. <laughs> <Stick in action. laughs> He's like, let me work on my speed drills. Yeah. So to Chris's point, we're, we're filming. Or we were in the middle of a break, right? We're, wasn't the break? No, no, he, no, he walked in while we were filming. Peter, yeah. remember, and he goes, Peter I'll had him over and minutes. say something. <laughs> 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 oh, am I being loud? <laughs> Give me a couple minutes. <laughs> and the best part, here's the best part. I see Paul starting to get mad, and now I see him almost like forgetting his thoughts. So I'm like, oh God. Yeah, I'm going to that gonna, place. He, I'm going to that place. We're either going to have the best podcast we've ever had, or it's going to be the worst one we've ever had because he's killing somebody. We're going to that place. <laughs> and it, to the point where that individual. So he's hit. You actually said something on the film. If you yeah, go back. Yeah, I said, I go, I'm going to lose it. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm getting missed. Yeah, I'm getting Two pissed. seconds, I'm getting pissed. <laughs> and Frank, because Frank lost it. And, I'm, and you couldn't see my hands because I'm going like this to Peter. Yeah. I'm like, once I, I'm like, once the time starts yeah. doing this, you know yeah. it's fucking So I'm like, rough. what's going on here? So <laughs> bad things are about to the happen. The guy was hitting the fucking bag, okay? And then he starts doing some Tai Chi or Pilates or something over here. And it's to the point where, like, he's not leaving now. Yeah. He's not leaving. His just, distraction, like, it just became mainstream. Do you not now. see the 10 cameras, the lights, the wires everywhere? Do you not see what the fuck we're the doing? The juggling here? midgets in the corner. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, you don't see these things going on? You don't see what's going on over here? Like, holy hey, you're over here doing this to the point. Small people, small people. We're finally, finally, either we, f- we finished, right? Or we broke. Yeah. And then it was like, I think Peter, or it's one of you did, because I, I got up. Yeah. And you're like, listen, you got to go. Well, I went up to you him know, quietly and yeah. I said, you know, we're filming. He goes, yeah, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll be done in a couple of oh, I, I, hope, I hope we're not a I'm distraction not to, you. to you. To you. That's the point. You're in here, like I said, like you might as well put on a drum set. Yeah, yeah you know, I don't mind. No don't social mind. cue whatsoever. No, no, no social cue whatsoever. So it's like, does that's a fucking pet peeve of mine. It's like, are you that oblivious to the rest Why of the world? Why would you come in here? Like Frank said, Glass doors. You can see what's going on here. It's like a real studio. Yeah. Like, all right, you see what's going on. Why the hell would you think it's okay to walk in here? Well, that's a huge pain. Outside of an emergency, don't fucking come in Not here. Not reading people who can't read hey. social cues oh or body language. God. Like, you're really that oblivious to what's going on type deal. And it's you rude. Know? Dude, yeah, it's, it's just rude. rude. It's, it's just rude. rude. Well, it, was just clear, it was clear he was concerned about what he had going on out of anybody else. It's like. rude. You know, it's not like we do this every week. Right. So the one when we do this, it's like, you know, we're we're banging out, listen guys, production's production. We're banging out a bunch of episodes every time we sit down. Okay? You're coming in and out of our basically our studio. And I'm not bullshitting. If you saw what's in front of us right now, yeah. you'd be like, they're right. Wow. You know, what, what, this is where we cut to the reenactment <laughs> of somebody walking across. <laughs> you know, this is what happens. So like that type of sh- like like Frank said, these lack of this inability to, of, to take social cues, you know, on what's going on, and you're fucking rude. You know, you're, you're interrupting something that takes a lot of work and a lot of time to do. You know, it's, it's like something simplistic. Chris said something before when we, were, when we were going over our notes before the episode. It's like, you know, it's like when you're in the gym. Oh, hey, right? Like, go ahead. Like, you're in the gym. Like, it's a perfect example. I'm in, I'm in the gym, and I got a good pump going, and I feel good, and I'm like, all right. I got to use that piece of equipment. All right, that person's on it, no problem. I'll go do this other exercise. That'll get, you know, I'll do four or five more sets of that other exercise. Then that person will be off that piece of equipment, and then I can shoot over there immediately as soon as I fi- see them finish. Perfect. So I do, I finish up that, that one piece of equipment. I go over to the other one, I start doing, and I see this person, he does like one set. He starts texting. 
He's doing this. He's checking his shoes. He's pulling the socks up. I'm like, all right. I do another set. He's texting some more. Hasn't done another set yet. I'm like, are you kidding me? And then he keeps doing sets. And so I'm like, all right. So I even I'll, I'll go to another piece of equipment. Eventually, I'm like, hey, are you working out today? Like, what? If you're gonna, if, if you see a gym has got a finite number of pieces of equipment, and they all do, and you know gym etiquette, why would you sit on like a bench press, one of the most important pieces of equipment on a Monday? Universal fucking chest day, which I do back now for that re for that reason. I swear to God, I've had to change up my days because Mondays is universal chest days. Fridays, if you're getting ready to go to the CLU, it's probably chest and buys because you want things to look good for the ladies. Club pump. Yeah, the club pump, exactly. <laughs> but I'm thinking to myself, dude, are you kidding me? How long are you going to sit on that piece of equipment before you let somebody else use Until it? I decide and I'm not that guy, hey, can I work in with you? Because that annoys the living hell out of me. Dude, you can work in with me if you're doing exactly what I'm doing, exactly the same right. way. If you're not doing the same, like, dude, I, I love this. I'm doing push downs. Guy goes, can I, walk, can I work in with you? I'm like, all right, yeah, I got like three more, two more. That's fine, work in. He grabs a different Change handle. <laughs> he's, doing, he's doing cable presses. I'm like, are you kidding? And then he supersets this. I'm like, what are you doing? Are you out of your mind? Yeah, working in is because of what I'm fucking doing. Exactly. It doesn't dude, mean you change the whole geography of what's going on around here. Dude, it's I, rude. I can't, no, dude, it's fucking it's no, rude. It's no etiquette. It's rude. It's no etiquette. It's no etiquette. It's no etiquette. It's no etiquette. There is no gym etiquette. No. This yeah, is, putting the weight no, no, back. I have gym etiquette. Heavy weight too. I have gym etiquette. Me too. If I see you working out, I'm not going to freaking... I'm working out right here. Guys like this, grabbing weights. I'm like, yeah. dude, I got two more reps left. You can't wait until I'm done no. to get in front of me, no. grab a weight, struggle with picking it up. Well, it's, it's the point also, like, since we're on the topic of gyms and, you know, having to have one, people don't put their fucking weights away. The worst. It's like, and, and I'm that asshole. <laughs> that base is, oh, you didn't put your weights away? <laughs> oh, you, you're not strong to put the weights away. You're oh, strong you enough that? to lift them, yeah, just not to take them You didn't off. put the weights away. So, you know, you didn't put this away, that away, whatever away, and then that's when I start getting loud. And then, then I start saying, trying to correct the issue of your lack of gym etiquette for everyone else that's going on in the gym, that's trying to use the equipment or get to the pieces of equipment or do what they have to do. And it's like... How do they respond? Do they understand what you're saying? Oh, yeah, they, they respond. Defensive? They respond because I, I don't, because I put my asshole hat on. <laughs> and unfortunately, I don't want to do that, but I have to do that because, you know, we're running a business here, too. You know what I mean, it's like you got to respect everyone. Now. Have some fucking respect. Yeah, seriously. And that's what it comes down to. It's like, you know, have some respect to, like you said, social cues. Have some respect to what's going on in the gym. You know, it's, it's these pet peeves. It's like, what world do you come from? Okay, where do you, what do you, do you live in a barn? Yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, when you see people go into a bathroom, right? And dude, these yeah. guys are big guys. They're guys. You could tell they've been in the gym before. They're not like it, it's some little old lady who yeah, has no idea it, what's going anything. on. It's anything. It's like when you see people, how they treat a bathroom. It's like, do you treat your bathroom like that at home? Yeah. yeah. It's like, seriously, it's like, what do you, what, what's the matter with you? You I'm, know? I, I, go ahead. I'm, no, I'm in the same boat. Yeah. I mean, one of the biggest things that I hate or a biggest pet peeve that I have, and it can go across all spectrums, are just people who don't have common courtesy for others. I already know the way that I move, the way that I talk. I usually affect other people. I'm loud, I'm boisterous, I'm big guy. So usually, more than not, I'm in the way somehow. So I'm constantly- You set the tone. You set yeah, the tone. Yeah. When I'm you set the tone. I also think about how it affects other people, because right, I don't want somebody to feel uncomfortable, how it can affect them. So I'm mindful of that shit. And yeah. so many people walk around without that mindfulness. I think that's the biggest Well, how about problem. this one? Perfect example for that. You hold the door open for somebody. Oh. Right. And they don't say shit. No. We know when they do. Or, or, dude, you let somebody get in front of you and they don't give you the wave. Well, you know what they get from me after that. Oh. Oh, you're fucking welcome. Yeah. yeah. That's what you get. Oh, you don't know how to say thank you? I'll ruin a whole yeah. car ride if somebody does. I've like, done and, that a and, thousand and, and times. And on that note, yeah. dude, what is the universal law to create so you don't have anarchy on the roadways? It's every other. Right. It's every other. There's a fucking line of traffic. It's so other. it's every if other. If there's no now, fucking traffic light, that's the law. That's the law. It's every other. Here's the best part. Why do you need to go two cars just to be just to be literally one car ahead of me? Because we're still not fucking moving. Because there's traffic. This happened to me the other day down here. I can't handle that, dude. No, me either. I'll drive next to them, take my change, and smash their car. That's I what did. I do. And one other thing that really pisses me Are off, you really feeling I'll this? tell you what pisses me off. Very hot looking lesbians. If you're really hot, don't be a lesbian. You're like ruining it for the good looking guys. <laughs> the ugly ones can be lesbians, but the hot ones can't be. Are you married? I'm married. I'm just saying. Yeah. For, for the single guys. Just make an observation. Just for the single guys, man. Come on. Hot looking lesbians. It doesn't even make that. any the sense. Come on. Peep. 
It's, it's a pet peeve. peeve. It's my pet peeve. Are it's you guys acting peeve. or are you really feel this? <laughs> you don't like girls who like other girls who look like guys? You haven't figured out we feel this way by now, then you can watch the whole podcast. You don't like girls like other girls who look like guys? That's... You can be bi, but like, come on! It's like, whatever. But, you know, it's again, it's it, it's these simple forms of etiquette, manners. You know, yeah. and listen. It, it, sometimes you got to read a guy's energy or a gal's energy, right? Oh, absolutely. It's not a male or female thing. No, you got to read a person's energy. It's a douchebag thing. Thank you. It's a douchebag. It's a douchebag thing. But we're even. I'm like. If I if I read someone's energy, I'm like, I'm gonna go back later, or you know, they need yeah. some space. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, let them do, let them have their moment, whatever the case may be. But then you got these people that are fucking oblivious. They have no oblivious. Way. They have no clue, and it's a matter of selfishness too, in my opinion. Where it's like, you know, you're ignorant, you're oblivious, and you're selfish, or a combination of all three. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out because if you see somebody, it's a combination, emanating, right? If someone's emanating a sense of energy about them because either they're having a bad day or something maybe happened you don't know stay about. Stay fuck away. Stay away, man. Let yeah. them get themselves together yeah. and maybe revisit it. Maybe you don't revisit it until next time you see them. But where is your common fucking sense when you bumped in the head by a fucking icicle that came off the building because we're, you know, we're coming out of winter here? Yeah. I mean, what is it? I mean, I, I, I try to figure it out. Common sense. And we're the fucking common. crazy ones. Dude, we're the crazy ones. That's what I don't get. We're the crazy ones. Dude... We're the crazy ones, but only because we have we have the ball. We follow rules, though. Well, not only that, but we're we're willing to say what code. everybody else is thinking, but won't say. Correct. That's the reality. I agree with that. I will stare at the guy in the gym who walked in with his glasses on, no big deal, but then continues his workout wearing his sunglasses in the gym, and I'll look at him and go like, "What the fuck are you doing?" He's fucking Corey Hart, <laughs> and they'll be like, "Dude, <laughs> are your sunglasses at night?" Yeah, be like, "Dude, are you good? Are you good? You know, is it too too bright here for you?" And he's like, well, "What do you mean?" I'm like, "I'm just checking on you, man. I just want to make sure you're good, and, and just keep your team." And they. And, and, right and, and, until you head. feel bad when he goes, yeah, dude, I just had some some eye surgery, and the doctor said these are. <laughs> but here's the thing: to your point, now I'm a big sunglasses guy, right? I'm always wearing sunglasses. Sure, but how many times have you seen me explain to people I can't see? Right. My sunglasses are prescription. I actually they help me see. Right. I'm fucking blind as a bat, so I'll be in a wrestling tournament and they don't come off inside, and I and I will go out of my way to explain to people, yeah, I look good. <laughs> that, that's not the issue. That's not the issue. And you've seen me do it. And I'm like, I can't well, see. I was actually, yeah. And I will give them my glasses and, and go, say, put these put things these on. on. And, and you're like this. Whoa. And they go, oh my God. I go, yeah. But see, what that, what, what's happening to you, I can see 2020 now. Right. So that's why they stay on my face. I can't even see a freaking scoreboard without my sunglasses on. And I don't have my other glasses with me because I keep them in my briefcase for work and shit. But every one of my vehicles has my sunglasses in it that are prescription. So if I'm someplace, guess what? In the summertime, you never got to take them off because it's summertime. But I'm a guy, no matter what time of year, if you know me, you always see me wearing them. And it's not only because I like them, it's because I have to. But I go out of my fucking way to explain to people I'm not being a a douchebag. I just can't can't see. That's the reality of it. And I I don't have to explain myself. And I still do it. And it goes back to what we're talking about. Fucking etiquette. Where's the etiquette? You know, it's like... The worst is when people don't flush the toilet. Yeah, that's just oh, gross. Again, we talked about it before. Gross, it's like yeah. the bathroom. How, you know, would you do that in your own home? I mean, is that what you do? I mean, you piss all over the toilet. You go in and you don't, you don't flush it. But it's like, what do you do? Up. How about I take it by the back of your head and put your face in it? Yeah. Will that teach you next time to flush the toilet? I can't stand that. I mean, it's yeah, like... I can't stand it's, it. it. Really, it's like... In, it, it's the freaking bizarre world. I'm man. bad with it. I... Even when, one of my biggest pet peeves when I used to date women, if I walked into their bathroom and there wasn't wet wipes in the bathroom, I wasn't hanging out with her anymore. All right, but come on, that's a guy thing because women don't have hairy asses. No, it's a, it's a cleanliness thing because you ever try washing your car without water? No. Yeah, but no. I, a lot of times I'll take a shower right after I take a shower. All right, but that's a different story. You're doing what you need to do, yeah. but like... Make sure you get a bidet in your I'll, I'll tell you something that bothers me. This, this, on this point, this But is if you got that something me. like that that's taking care this? of hygiene, no doubt. How about when you not. walk into, like, you're at a... Like, first, we go to... We travel all the time wrestling tournaments. So if you're at any tor- tournament and you go into their bathroom and all they got are those fucking hand blowers. Right. I need to take some wet paper towels... Into the toilet with yeah. me, so I can wipe my ass. Yeah. Because, but dude, when you when you wake up at the crack of dawn, and I usually don't drink coffee, and now I'm drinking coffee because I'm exhausted. I got wrestling all day. I'm gonna be taking a monster dump. Okay, a monster <laughs> yeah, dump. A monster dump. Monster I need dump. wet wipes to clean my ass. That's a pet peeve of mine. Well, it's not a pet peeve. It's a choice of being of being cleanly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, you know, so again, the pet peeve is the fact that it's not there. And a guy who doesn't wear underwear like me, you damn sure <laughs> know I need some type of wet wipe to clean things. <laughs> well, 
Oh, we end up with shitty trousers. <laughs> Does depends make shorts or pants? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not I can't sure. stand when people don't put the fucking cart back when they go grocery shopping. When they go, yeah, grocery man. Shopping. I made Paolo run that shit back to those other and parts. put it into the thing. Like, you know, they like take the cart. And put it right back over there. Same thing. Because you know it's scratching my car. Well, that's my point. Oh, it's scratching my car. Help you it's scratching car. my it's car. car. Or, or when you got your car, you drive all the way in the back and you park next to nobody and no one, and you you, you don't take up multiple spots because it's like no one's gonna fucking come back. And then some asshole yeah, they call, they come comes to you. right next oh, yeah. to your car it happens and parks all the time. right next. Because I'm that guy. Car. I'll walk three miles. Yeah. Oh yes, he will. I've done that. I don't care what I. I have packed to. a lunch once. We parked. Yeah. We, we parked so far away. <laughs> and I'm even worse. And everyone knows me about my vehicles. They have to be clean all the time. Like, you can't have a speck of dust. We've been away. <laughs> and I, I had Before a, we head back, I had a wrestling tournament. I find a fucking car wash. Dude, he's getting a car I'm like, dude, where are you going? He's like, dude, I'm gonna, I got to go gas up. I go, all right, cool. So he come back like 35, 40 minutes. I go, dude, there's a gas station across the street. He goes, no, I need one with a car wash. I need to get a car wash oh, before shit. you go. I can't have a I car wash. It's, like it's got to be a Seattle thing. The windshield looks like that. It drives me crazy. Yeah. But to the point, just to finish real quick, and I'll shut up. When I get my car washed, I, if I see water on the road, I go avoid it. it. Yeah. I avoid it. Yeah. Because if I see spray on my car, yeah. oh, I'm, I'm lit. And for the record, I'm when we're driving lit. together and another car kicks up some stuff on him, oh, I, get I start giggling. Because yeah. I already know he's <laughs> getting mad. He sees my face. Because so I got to drive in front of him and we're hit the windshield wiper fluid. We're having a good comment. We're doing something. We're chatting. We're talking shit, whatever. And all of a sudden, shh. And I go like this. He's, he's getting mad at the car yeah, in front I'm, of him. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, but I, that's my it's, that's my pet peeve. Yeah. I like Big shit clean. I don't yeah. like it, especially in my vehicles. Dude, and speaking of someone parking right next to you and going back to the whole urinal thing, what about when you got 30 urinals to pick from? I'm right there. Oh, and meat gazers? You come up right next and to me. And meat gazers. Meat gazers. What, what meat gazers. Call them a meat gazer. A meat gazer. Wait, 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 wait. Gazer. Meat gazer. <laughs> There's a trailer right there. <laughs> meat gazer. Meat gazer. Gazer. <laughs> All over the, every other <laughs> urinal is open. Meat gazer. <laughs> There's two things you don't do. You don't double dick on a motorcycle and you don't meet gaze. You go to a double uh, dick. Double dick. <laughs> Never double dick on a motorcycle. Okay? <laughs> Sit in the sidecar. And if you're urinating at a urinal and oh, somebody's open, one, you go a few away. You go a couple away. You never like, go right If you want to see my shit, just ask me. I'll go, here it is. <laughs> you don't got to like... You're confident. You have no problem. Yeah. Like, come on already. Yeah, I, I get it. Come on. I get it. I absolutely get it. There's, you know. And we're the, and we're the crazy ones. stop late at night? <laughs> <laughs> and use the bathroom? No. No. I no, I'm old school. Months. I pull over and I piss in the woods. Tree, yeah. <laughs> That's or I get a bottle and I pee right in the bottle. That's what we do. <laughs> oh, I made that mistake God. once and I mentioned it to a cop. And he's like, don't you know better? <laughs> Is that real? Is that legit? I thought that was just like a movie joke thing. No. It's the Go the, on rest. the glory holes are right there, well, waiting for it, waiting to be utilized. Are you serious? I, I work late at night. You know, I was coming home. I have to take a leak. I go right. in there, yeah. and guys, I'm, I, I walk in. I go, oh shit! And they go running out. <laughs> Oh it's like something about what is it? Something about Mary? Or what's it like? Where exactly. you, I'm just I'm just taking a pee too. I'm just taking... <laughs> That's why they put fences so people can't escape into the woods. Jesus! They put a fence up Holy on, on the uh, Bedford side. Are you kidding me? I'm not. That many people are in there glory holing, <laughs> dude. If, if you looked at those license plates, you'd find married men, I'm sure, all different Jesus people from society. Christ. That's crazy. It's crazy. That's not a pet peeve of mine. No. <laughs> so when I wow. really have to go, I, I go into the rest area, but I don't go into the building. I just like go, you know, out the car. Psh, yeah, I'm saying go to the woods, find a tree. Hell I mean, yeah. that's that, I mean that's what you can open up. My thing is, you open up the double door and you pee right in between. That is so funny. Or you know, if you're if you're really tired, you know, and I just have to stop like. Three or four minutes in my car, not to get out, just like kind of. I tell you, one of my other pet people peeves. walk around and they look at you and you're like, get the fuck away from me. Exactly. <laughs> a lot of times, you know what? When you're training, and a dude walks in smelling like a bag of assholes, Ugh. and their gee smells. Uh, I'm oh, like, yeah. and I'm an asshole because I'm gonna tell them. I'm like, what are you doing? Are you serious? Or cut your fucking fingernails? Yeah, cut Go scrub yourself up. I don't need. I don't this want. I don't want to smell that. What are you doing? You know, it's like. I don't give a fuck what sport it is. Yeah. Wash yourself. If you stink, like, it's or you're wash coming yourself, back from man. an injury and you go, "Hey, everything else is cool, but watch my leave this fucking leg alone." <laughs> oh yeah. And the first thing, yeah. right, yeah. right yeah. on the leg. Yeah, yeah. No, th th those are. Let's roll up with a flow roll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> flow roll. And they're, yeah. they're trying to submit you. The bizarre roll. That's how I met Shay. It's like you know, <laughs> hey, please don't, roll. please right. don't do this. But the synaptic reflex 
do and this. Compute it, and I just said, no, I'm going to do this <laughs> as hard as I can. Exactly. Freaking Momo, it's, it's like, come on. Besides the smelly men, um, the worst is one time I rolled, the guy had all his cologne on. Oh, I like that. That's well, no, it goes all over you. You have nothing to do with it. Horror shower. Right? So I go home, my wife's like, you smell awful, like some kind of shitty cologne. What are you up to? And I was like, well, I had... Well, you roll with me, your wife would be like, ooh, honey, come over because you smell <laughs> like a... You smell sexy is with that a capital S. He probably fucking stole my cologne. Is that preferred <laughs> stock? I, 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 I steal your... Did anytime he's in the shower, I'm, I'm one of his about... pet peeves is I come in and I... Okay, I'm ready to go to work. Well, I'm talking about <laughs> someone Paul hates. I'm not going to say who. Oh. <laughs> it's an awful puke cologne. I was like, you smell awful. What were you doing? I said, my face and some guys crying. Again, man, it's like, it's like, where, what are you thinking about? I mean, that's what it comes down to. Like, you know, I don't, we're, no one here is perfect. We all have our shortcomings and make mistakes. And like, I'm sure we do shit that annoys. Listen, I'm sure us attacking people gets on some people's nerves. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, of course so, it does. And, and to that, we just, oh, yeah, and to that, we just want to say one thing. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Too fucking bad. <laughs> And the best part was we did it at the exact same time, and that wasn't even planned. That was not planned. <laughs> but I can I can sympathize. You know what I mean? I get it. You can listen. You're you're in the world of everyone becoming offended by things, right? So listen, we just have in my in our opinion, I, these are common sense things. I mean, how could you not be offended by them? Yeah. Well, make them pet peeves per se. You know yeah. what I mean? So it, it, it again, it's like I've been saying all, all whole episode, bizarre world. It's like, what are you thinking? You know, did you wake up? Did you get, you know, were you tased before you got to the place you're at? I mean, I don't know. In on, in your brain, I, I'm not sure. Well, you know, the funny thing is, I I try to challenge my brain daily. I try to get things in front of me that I would consider that might offend me, just to desensitize myself. Like I don't understand the age of like talk. We sit here and talk a lot about training and, and mentally preparing your body, but we very very rarely have we reflected on like preparing your mind. I think we did one episode on it, but man, the amount of training that people don't do to prepare their mind for the things that they're going to witness. Like, you know, even with hunting, like when people see, you know, people love the, the baby deer, but they also love the baby deer, uh, bear. But when the baby bear is eating the baby deer, oh, it's such a bad thing. Like, this is, this is part of it. There's things in life that, you know, are going to happen there naturally. You, you got to like be desensitized to it a little bit. You yeah. can't be offended by everything. How are you going to grow? Being uncomfortable, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make you grow. Like if I'm gonna... shooting a baby lion or a baby giraffe, Dude, like people gotta desensitize themselves to that stuff. I, I, you know, say that right to Kevin. Tell all the people you're gonna do that. Dox. Do that. Dox. Dox I'm just kidding. Dox them. Don't say that. Don't say that. Like, Maybe you know, that's but, a bad example. And there's but, some scary shit out there, man. Yeah, my, son, my son sent me a, a, a thing from college where there was a fucking alligator. It was like right out of the water. And it fucking growl. Do they growl alligators? What well, are they, they called? Yeah. They, they, they gurgle. It's a gurgle. It's a gurgle. This fucking thing. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. That's what it, that's what it is. It sounded like Jurassic Park. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Dude. absolutely. And I'm like, it's a grumble. It's a fucking so dinosaur. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, it's, it, it was a, a literally, it sounded like from the movie. Yeah. And I'm like, I mean, I don't go, I'm scared to death of those fucking things anyway. So Hell I'm like, yeah. that's a fucking real life dinosaur. I mean, they're dinosaurs. They're dinosaurs. So it's like, you know, so a pet peeve of mine is these motherfuckers that jump in the water with them. Yeah. Is there something wrong with you? Is there something fucking wrong? For everyone out there, just so you know, <laughs> two things. You can get in the water in the ocean and might not get touched by a shark. If they're not hungry, and if, like, if, you're, if you're out in the middle of the ocean, like an oceanic white tip probably will get you because yeah. their meals are few and far, so they're going to get you. But if you're in a little closer to shore, you could be in the water with great white sharks, and they might not touch you. They, may, they really might not. They may not. You're not their preferred food source, okay? You get in the water with a fucking crocodile and alligator, you're dead. <laughs> they're eating you every, every fucking time. time. No, no, no. When you hit the water, they're coming after you. Yeah. <laughs> they're not going, oh, what's that? It could be a fucking, it could be a, a, a parakeet that falls into the water. They're Guess going, what? They're eating it. It could be a fucking boot. It could be a boot. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> but every time, and you can research this, I'm not bullshitting, you end up in the water with a crocodile or an alligator, you're getting eaten. Period. End of fucking story. So when I see these dudes jumping in the water with that shit, I'm like, what the fuck? What is wrong with that? I don't have a problem with that. I have a problem with the person who does jump in the water and doesn't expect And then winds up like this and goes, 
I don't, I don't know. It's just, I, mean, I don't, I, he seemed like a nice animal. I, I just never would have thought. I, I had him since he was a kid. <laughs> since he was a baby, we were buddies. I would hold him and then he, I don't, I don't know. I don't know I don't what know. happened. Like, like, we don't know. You get zero know. sympathy. I don't know. You got a fucking pet Komodo dragon, yeah. son. They eat people. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's what happens. You fuck with the bull, you got the you horns. Can, you can't really How would you run from an alligator, Paul? You got to run zigzag. You got to. That's the only way you're going to get away from him. Okay? Otherwise, you're not getting away from him. I would run like this and <laughs> then take off. Yeah. I, I'm going to run just, yeah. I'm gonna run just fast yeah. enough than the slowest guy. Yeah. That's how, fast, that's how fast I'm running. I'm pretty confident for me. That if I'm somewhere where there's an alligator, that alligator's getting shot <laughs> yeah. before it comes near me. At Period. The, I can tell at you right now. At least he's one of the states that we exactly. have gun permits. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So my point is, like, it's crazy. You know, it's a scenario like, I just read a thing where this guy took these people out on a, on a uh, it is in Alaska. Freaking brown bear. Brown bears are bigger than grizzly bears. Yeah, the Kodiak. The name, oh, in Kodiak, they're bigger than Kodiak bears. Yeah. It's just, they have the cuddly name. They're bigger and even more aggressive. Yeah, brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? Okay, so what happens? People don't understand. Bears are the greatest terrestrial predator on the planet. Bears beat everything. Nothing beats a bear. Tigers don't bear, be, beat bears. Listen, I put a bear against a freaking crocodile in the water, okay? Because they're just that much bigger, they can swim the whole night. But bear beats everything. So when you're in the woods, can you go to these places where there's bears? Get ready. You just went down 10 notches on the food chain. Yeah, okay? Did. And they will hunt you and they will stalk you and they will come after you and you can't outrun them. And you can't climb trees. And yes. you can't climb trees. They you climb can't trees. get away from them. They run 35 miles an hour and they run faster downhill. So here's this guy takes these, this group out in Alaska and what do you have to do? He had to unload his 9mm 1911 into the bear. I just saw yeah. that. Yeah. Because the bear charged them. Okay? So it goes back to me. Why? Why? What fun is there in putting yourself in those situations? Unless you're heavily armed. Yeah. So right? do, you, do you take meditative walks in the woods, Paul? Hell no. I can't comment on this. Because <laughs> my stupid ass is in the woods. <laughs> I go to the woods. Hell no, bro. No. But listen, I'm, I, I can tell you I'm safe in the woods if I go. But that's because of me. I don't want to get into why, but I'm safe in the woods. <laughs> All right? But the point being is... Chickadees aren't safe. I don't want... <laughs> But my point is, I, I don't, I'm not doing that. That's a pet peeve of mine. Like, I, you know, it's like, oh, I want to go, I want to go swim in the ocean. No, I don't swim in the fucking ocean. There's sharks, they bite, and I'm scared of them. I'm not going in. Period. I don't give a shit. When I go to the ocean, I go into about here. I don't go any fucking, I don't even want my kids And, and if they got there. a pool, I don't even go down to the ocean. I don't even know you go down. I don't need to go down. I don't want that shit. There's shit in there that bites. Yeah. And I want nothing to do with it. I don't even like going into ponds. The snapping turtles fucking bite. I can tell you right now. And I'm not getting bit by no damn snapping no, turtle. they're bad. No, listen, the, sna the, the alligators don't even touch the snapping turtles. You ever watch them hunt? Any oh, yeah. They eat, they eat ducks. They eat everything. But even the other reptiles don't touch the snapping turtles. Because, A, they're big, nasty, got big shells, and they're not to be messed with. And the, and the, the thing about there's not a lot of food in there anyway. No. No. It's all shell. But moral of the story is, why am I jumping in the fuck? And forget about it. Snakes don't even get me going. I just pet peeves them. Death ropes. You know pet what I'm saying? Death but guys, ropes. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Pet Peeves on the Match Chat Podcast. Paul Seattle, Frank Seattle, Christopher Shea. Bang. You know what my pet peeve is? You always end in this early. <laughs> <laughs>